hope you're all doing really, really well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. One that I've not done either in a long time or ever on my channel. I'm pretty sure I've done at least one. She and Hall. If I did, it was a long, long time ago. So I have actually been a customer of Shein in the past. However, today's video is in collaboration with them. They're very kindly sent me this huge big box which i'm going to share with you so i have loads of autumn winter loungewear and comfy clothes which i can't wait to share but i also discovered the homeware section on shein now this is something that i've never shopped before so i was pleasantly surprised with the choice and the things that they had on offer so i think i'm going to start with fashion and then share with you the homeware bits so everything is individually packaged in these little Shein zipper thing. The first thing that I have to share with you is actually a two-piece set. Make a really nice outfit for maybe like a wedding guest if you wear them together, but I quite like them as separates too. So this is the little top. It's like a satiny, silky slip style square neck top. I got this set in a medium and it's a beautiful autumnal tan kind of colour which I love. And then the skirt part is like a midi skirt, high waisted, with a little hidden zip closure on the side. Really nice and simple. I think midi skirts look really nice with nice chunky cozy knitwear, knit jumpers as well, like nice roll necks, especially as it gets really cold with tights and boots as well. So the next set that I picked up, I am in love with. I again got this set in a medium and oh my God, I'm just obsessed. This is the perfect lounging at home with the log burner on, the fire on, the heating on. So it's quite warm and cozy in your house. It's like a waffle knit, waffle kind of fabric. So really kind of luxe feeling for around the house. And then the matching top that comes with it, again in a medium, has this kind of open collar design. Three quarter length sleeves, and it's a nice length to be able to tuck into the shorts if you want to. I quite like that look. And then again, equally as separate, these would work quite nicely. These shorts in the summer with maybe a little bodysuit or a bikini as like a throw on over a swimwear. And then this top, again, with just some like high-waisted sand-coloured jeans, like my Topshop ones that I love. I feel like Shein is really good for duping really popular items that, for instance, Zara do. Like, they have a bodysuit. In fact, I should have picked it up to compare because I actually have the Zara one. Never mind. Next time. But yeah, they're really good at duping high street brands. But anyway, moving on. This set that I got is a really nice cosy loungewear set, which is a two-piece complete with these joggers which I really like because they're actually um a bit tailored a bit of a smart pair of joggers with this kind of seam running down the front I've got these in a medium as well they're nice and high-waisted with a drawstring that you can really cinch in and then the top part that comes with it I'm not so sure about I, I don't know about the neckline so you have to give me your opinion on this I probably would wear these joggers with a nice white body as well um but yeah I'm not so sure on this neckline it's kind of like a roll neck but it's not knitwear. So I imagine roll necks being knitwear. This isn't. Next up is yet another jogger cord. I actually prefer this one of the two. So this one is a far lighter, sandy kind of nude color. Again, the jogger bottom half have that really high waist and drawstring allowing you to cinch it right in. I got this set in a medium as well. This is like a ribbed kind of knit fabric with the pocket details as well. This is definitely a more casual material. And then the matching top that comes with it is such a good little staple that I would definitely wear this with other outfits, you know, as like a layering piece. It's just a very simple scoop neck crop vest, which I love in that same ribbed kind of knit material. I will be honest, this is one of those shades that you've got to be careful with your skin tone. I feel like I wear this more when I've got fake tan on and I prefer the look of it as opposed to my natural paler skin colour coming through. Next up we have a little dressier item. This would be great for high-waisted jeans, heels for like cocktails, drinks, night out. And this is in a size medium. I definitely could have got away with a small in this one with the little scalloped edging on the bust and the gold zip on the back. I love the fact that it's a gold zip. Either gold or hidden, but silver I'm not really so much of a fan of. I just think it's a really pretty design and one that would look great for 
an eye out. It has got the boning in it as well, so it's very structured. Next up we have an absolute classic for this time of year. I'm wearing one now. It is, of course, an open knit chunky cozy cardigan. This is amazing. I've been after a longer line one in this beautiful kind of natural sand beige colour. Love the fact that it's got the pocket details and the thick ribbing across the top of the pockets and across the bottom of the cardigan. It's just a really nice loungewear cozy item. With this sort of an item, I always tend to size up if I can, just so that it's that oversized, boxier, relaxed fit on me. I got a little crop bra that they do loads of underwear, so if you're after more of these kind of things, they do have a lot. So it's just a good little staple for me, one that I tend to layer and wear a lot this time of the year. It's like an alternative to having a bra on, if you want comfort, if comfort's key for you. So there's no detailing or clasp on the back, but there are adjustable straps, which is handy. And there's kind of built-in cup support designs. Next up, I went a little Halloween themed with this one. I saw the color of this and loved it. And I thought this would be quite nice to wear on Halloween. I bought some Halloween cupcake baking kits and I thought, you know, get in the mood with wearing a Halloween top and doing some Halloween baking this year. But the top looks like so. Again, that really nice beige colour. Even just as like nightwear, to throw on a big oversized tee like this is like a go-to for me to sleep in. It says, give me coffee, give me change. Kind of that mystical, witchy brew type vibe. I got this in a medium and it's pretty oversized. Definitely just a bit of novelty and a bit of fun that one. But they do actually have a lot of themed things like that. They have costumes, outfits, loads of Halloween decor bits if you're having a bit of a get together or you've got kids and you want to make it fun and festive and themed. This is totally out of season but I couldn't resist. I saw one very similar in Zara that they did this summer and when I saw this I was like that's that's a dupe. That is a very close, one that I love. So it's actually a little summery linen play suit with a cinched in waist. A really simple design, nice and flowy and loose on the legs and the shorts. Definitely one that I need to put away though because it's not the season to be wearing this right now. This next set is again one like that first white one that I got in that waffle kind of fabric but in my new obsession, sage green. It's a little short, so this time with a drawstring, so I really like that little added detail. It's got pockets. This quality of this is incredible. So, so soft, so nice and comfortable. They are the shorts that go with this matching top. Again, the top is a slightly different design. Doesn't have that open neck detailing, it's just like a quite a high neck design. And just very simple so really nice and easy to tuck into the top of the shorts and have it look almost like a bit of a lounge play suit i love this probably my favorite set of the entire haul okay this next one is probably the last of the fashion we've got one more after this but this reminded me of the wild fox jumpers do you know what i mean when i say that i feel like they were a big trend there was a big craze around them a couple of years ago and they're kind of like distressed looking one of those that your grandma would see and go oh you need to reseam your jumper because there's a hole in it that kind of style the distressing on this is around the collar it's like a v-neck style and also around the bottom of the arms the cuffs and the hem do you know what this would also make for quite a nice halloweeny outfit this with some like black jeans even though it's not Halloween themed as much as that t-shirt was. It's subtle, but still kind of gives off the vibe of a scary scarecrow that's been ripped apart. <laughs> the last of the clothing items now, before I move on to the homeware, is this. Now you may be wondering, what is that? I didn't realize it came in a little bag like this either. But it is an anorak, a black anorak that is very oversized with a big hood. Tom does laugh at me but when I say this, but it's like an emergency coat. One that you throw in the boot of your car for when you're out and about, you weren't expecting rain, but you're covered. Just before we move on to your homeware, I did also order this like job lock bunch pack of satiny silky scrunchies, which 
I love. Loving these colours, very autumnal. So I thought this would look quite nice as a bit of a decorative item, like in a glass jar, all your silky scrunchies. So that is why I picked up all of these. Moving on to homeware. So the first thing I got isn't the most interesting, I'll be honest. It is a little brush. I'll just keep the wrapper on it for now. But the way that I wanna use this for cleaning inside window sills, you know when you open a window and there's a load of rubbish in there, that when the window's shut you don't notice, but when you open it you're like, whoa, that needs a clean. This can really get in there. So I ordered this set of cutlery as a, a tester to whether or not I want to get the full set for our new house. Now, this is what they look like. They are beautiful. They are kind of pricey. So they're very well made and they're very unique in their design. And they're not a real yellowy gold either. They're quite a nice, almost brassy, brushed gold. I just don't know if I can justify spending the amount they are on a full set. So I'm thinking, you know, eight of each. Should I get the whole set? Ooh, let me know. This is fun. So I saw this and thought it was just a, one of those real practical items that looks nice as well. So one to just store under your sink. And it is a little kind of canvas bag that you store all of your plastic bags in for when you're going out and about shopping and you need to take a carrier bag with you. It's got a little design on the front and a hole at the bottom so that once you stuff it full of your carrier bags, you can just pull them out of the bottom and off you go. Next up I spotted this, which is this kind of rope design table placemat type thing which you can use as a home decorative piece. I quite like how they styled it up on the website. I'm not really sure where I'm going to put this yet, what I'm going to do with it. Maybe in the bedroom, I feel like it'd be quite nice. Let me know if you have any suggestions as well. Okay, next up I got these two linen pillowcases or cushion covers I should say. These are so well made, so affordable and just perfect. So they've got the hidden zip on the back there. I quite like it when the zip's in the middle of the back so it's easier to get the cushion into. Um, I feel like, do I need some cushion inserts or can this go over some we've already got? Probably already got some that I can use. If I just show you close up, you can see the linen material there. They're super soft really well made i absolutely love them so hence why i picked up two and they have loads of colors as well then i also got this cushion cover which i thought would be a nice seasonal addition in autumn to have out i mean you could have it out all year round but i like the idea of this at fall autumn because it says it's upside down let's stay home it's a really, really soft, almost velour-like fabric. So they have loads of these canvasy type storage bags, perfect for the move. So I'm not gonna open these out, but you can see on the image what they look like. And they come in all different sizes. So I actually did pick up a few, and these are going to be so handy for moving all of our clothes and bits and bobs. And I love the color of them as well. These would be great even as like under bed storage for when we are all settled in as well. So moving on, I got this for in a wardrobe. I don't know whether mine or Tom's yet, we'll see. Um, but I love this. I feel like it's so practical. If it was Tom's, I feel like it'd be good for pocket squares and ties that you can roll up and pop in, cufflinks, things like that. And then if it were for me, I could probably put in a couple of little purses, scarves. It does hang up, so it fits nicely in your wardrobe and it has another side. So it's got these little uh, compartments as well. These are actually a bit bigger, so a bit more handy to have bigger items in. Even underwear and things you could store in there as well. These three items I actually got for Tom because he's the one that is the chef. He likes to be in the kitchen. So I'm like the cleanup, the cleaner upper. He's the baker. Well, not even the baker, the cooker really. The cooker, the chef. <laughs> They're bread making components. So this one rolled up, it's like a measuring kind of placemat and it's got the texture of it which is perfect for kneading dough and things like that so it doesn't stick to it. And then they've got a little temperature converter from Fahrenheit to Celsius which is handy if you come across recipes that are American. And then this is like a 
don't know. I don't know what the term is, but like a little bag that you need dough in. <laughs> I don't know. And then this third and last final item, and it's not really much to show you, but it's just um, like a canvas cloth that you use to prove the bread. So once you've made the dough and everything, you, you put this you put the dough within this and it helps prove it. Uh, something like that. I don't know. Anyway, two items left to share with you now. This first one is a little bit of fun. It's Halloween-y. It's perfect to go in my colour scheme because it's white. They are these little hanging fairy lights with little pumpkin faces on them. I just thought they were cute. Good for Halloween. Nice to like maybe put around a bit of a Halloween display with a Halloween treats bowl in the middle. And then the last item that I picked up is a humidifier. So it's one of these electronic kind of devices that you have sat out in your home. I like the fact that this one is just um, clear and white, so very simple. And it is one that you put water in and you can add essential oils, but it's gotta be the aromatherapy one. So it kind of like, not the thick gloopy oils, it's gotta be the ones designed for humidifiers. So I actually have a couple from the white company that I'll pop in here with the water and it just is a really nice room diffuser humidifier contraption. Much cheaper than the white company one as well. So that's a little tip there. If you wanna get the white company scent, then get a cheaper humidifier, but get the nice, oils the nice scents from the white company anyway that is everything that i picked up do let me know which is your favorite and do let me know if you're interested in more Shein hauls in the future because i would definitely shop it again do subscribe for more of the autumn and festive content which i have plenty of coming your way along with the moving vlogs very soon so thank you so so much for watching and i hope to see you all very soon in my next video bye guys